Romans chapter 13, verse 9. The commandments, do not commit adultery, do not murder, do not steal, do not covet, and whatever other commandment there may be, are summed up in this one rule. Love your neighbor as yourself. Do you have a hard time putting circles in your projects? I know I do. Stay tuned and I'll show you one way you can add a circle to your junk journal. Hi everybody. Welcome to the junk room where we create whatever. Does anybody have these circles? I believe they were from Creative Memories. Or do you have a Cricut or a Sizzix machine or a sh machine that will make circles for you? Ah, uh, let's go really old school. Do you have a bowl or a plate that is a circle shape? I'm sure you might have one or two in your cupboard. I find it hard to put circles in my projects. I don't know what it is. It's not my idea. It's, it's not an original idea. I, I didn't, you know, have a dream about it and, and then, you know, woke up and was able to create it. <laughs> I am using someone else's idea. Here is what it looks like in a junk journal with three different pockets. This is made out of a circle and it gives us three pockets or two pockets and a tuck spot on either side. Let's make some. Grab yourself uh, some paper, depending on the size you're making. You, can, I think you can make these any size with any kind of paper but I want to use up some of my 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. I've got some double sided here in front of me. I have a single side and then I'm also wanting to do a smaller one. I think I will use this one. It's This one's pretty neutral. I'll be able to use it really in any, in any project. I'm going to start with the big one with the inside circle. And my cutting mat is underneath. And it's been a while since I've used this. Oh, I have the wrong thing in there. If your paper is needing to go certain ways, you got to be mindful of that. I think I want my lines up and down. Go like this, fold it into each other, I'm trying to make it as equal on both as possible. And then fold it up. Okay, so we folded it in to itself and then we folded it up. We want to cut on these lines. <laughs> and if you forget to do that and you do the other lines, we can, we can uh, fix that too. I did that wrong. <laughs> it's fold in and then fold up halfway, not all the way. That is okay. I wanted you to see the mistake. I tell the, the girls that I work with Thursday night in the junk journal program that everything can be fixed. It's fixable in junk journaling. How to fix it? Well, I'm just going to put... 
these pieces on this like that and I think it's going to be okay because I think I can put it I can use it as another little pocket or I can just glue down the side I do have another one of those perfect all right let's let's try this again Do you know that song, God's Love is Like a Circle, a circle big and round? That's been going through my head as I've been looking at circles. Got your circle, any size, and you're going to line it up as close to equally as possible. It may or may not be completely perfect, but that's okay doesn't have to be perfect it's a junk journal and then we're just going to go up about that far and that's that's one pocket and then we're going to open this back up and we're going to cut on the fold Got my light in a new spot. Let's just make sure I can see that. There we go. Yeah, I have I have my light in a new spot, so I'm trying to make sure the shadows don't get in the way. Okay, I'll turn this back over. Oh, I did. <laughs> I did it wrong again. It's not. It's not the up and down. It's the going across. <laughs> across. Oh, my stars. <laughs> so I have to <laughs> fix it again. And I know I don't have any more of this paper because this got to be on top. So there's the pocket there, there's the pocket here, and here are the tuck spots. Right like that. Let me get the glue. <laughs> there we go. So again, the pocket there, the pocket in, in here, and then our tuck spots will just glue down the two sides so it is a little bit easier when you're dealing with double-sided paper because then you don't have to be concerned about lots of white showing there and these these are overlapping if you wanted to ink ink before you fold it all down and glue it glue it down i'll do that with the other one what does it look like when we use just a single side paper it's only one sided i'm going to stick with that large circle and again you could be a, a dinner plate and i think i'm going to make it bigger by going on the out side again we're just gonna try to get it as best we can even on both sides and then up Depends on how big a pockets you want. Now this is really thick paper. It's already started to crack. Open it up. Let's cut on these lines going across instead of up and down and see if it works.
fold those in, fold that up, and these come on this side. Yay! You could ink this, you could stamp on it, you could use book pages. You could cover those up any way you want. So if we were to put a piece of this in, like that, could go like that, and it could cover these, these up as well with with anything really. I'm going to leave that one because I want to think about how I'm going to use it. Sometimes it's good to leave them not completely finished, especially if you don't know what journal you're going to put it in. This one is much bigger than this one, so this would have to go in a pretty big journal. You want to do a small circle, so maybe you have a bowl. Uh, that you could use for this. And I'm going to bring in another another 12 by 12 because I have have lots of 12 by 12 from my scrapbooking days. I think I'll use the blue blade. That's the one that goes out the furthest. Is my circle. If I do it this way, I lose that ladybug. If I do it this way, because it oh, I'll get I'll get that ladybug right there. Okay. This paper kind of just decorates itself. Remember, you want to cut across <laughs> but if you forget and you <laughs> cut uh, up and down you can just glue it back together oh look look how cute that is I don't even need to do anything to this one we've gone from large medium and small and then I mean this the circles keep getting <laughs> getting smaller you could go really tiny what would that look like and then if you have this this cutting system you have three different blades or two different blades that can do different sizes I have these cute little tags that I haven't done anything with yet. You just put one in there. I think you need to even go smaller than that. I have some these faux tickets that I was working on. Too big. Here's a different size. Oh, look at that. Okay, that one's perfect in there. And then we need some teeny itty bitty things. This isn't the right color but these are little tickets I started to make that might work yep or you don't have to use those for a tuck spot at all oh, there's a number four you could you could put a sentiment across there or you could put a number across there believe you put that right across there and then just use it as one pocket. I have a butterfly. Oh, butterfly could go in there. I hope that gives you some ideas of how you can use a circle 
in your junk journal and they're so versatile that you can make them any size you want for any any project you want and even when you make a mistake and you cut them down wrong that's okay it can be fixed don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment. I'd love to hear how you use circles in your projects. Have a great day, everybody.